Welcome back, everybody. Again, I am Bob Calvert, founder of Talking With Heroes, talkingwithheroes.com, and our new nonprofit, Thank You For Your Service.us. Uh, we're still here at San Pedro's Presbyterian Church in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, we've been interviewing military support groups, veterans, and uh, we're here uh, right now with a gentleman named Roland Berg. I just found out he is was a peace officer for 24 years right here in San Antonio, a deputy constable. And uh, so welcome to the program. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to share with us. But you also uh, worked a little bit with Vet Trip too. But start out, tell a little bit about yourself and your service in the community. Okay. I've always been involved in things that were giving back to the community one way or another. About 24 years ago, I looked at law enforcement and said, wow, these guys aren't really trained as well as they could be. And the only way to train law enforcement is you have to have experience as a peace officer. So I went to the academy, got out, went to uh, work at the Precinct 4 Constable's Office here in San Antonio. Picked that area because it's one of the more interesting areas to work in, some real challenges. And uh, worked there for 24 years doing a wide range of things, some of which I probably shouldn't mention. Uh, <laughs> um, and somewhere along the way, I was also working in IT. Uh, the law, all the law enforcement work was volunteer. Working in IT, I got tired of that and went in and learned hypnosis. And the process of learning hypnosis, I went, this is really cool stuff. And I came out of my training and said, hey, where's the deep end of the pool? And the deep end of the pool is working with people with PTSD because everybody views that as being extremely complicated. But everyone looks at the symptoms and they seem to focus on the symptoms rather than focusing on the root cause. So my approach involves focusing on cleaning up the root cause and a lot of times the symptoms just go away on their own. Yes. Okay. So how did you um, meet with Bob somewhere along the line? You, um, yeah, I was uh, at a holistic festival as one of the vendors, and someone came over and said, hey, you should contact this organization. It was, a, I believe, it was an acupuncturist. And he said, hey, you need to contact this organization. So I called Bob, and then I spent... Uh, several hours with him convincing him that I was a good fit for what he was doing and um, the law enforcement background is what got me kind of through the door and we just started working with the vets here to see what we could do. Great. So what do you do now? I haven't, I've not only met you for the first time, so right. I'm not sure. So you worked with him for a while. Right. And I, I, I have a um, hypnosis practice called Mind Power Consulting. And I work with a variety of things ranging from helping peer people with um, fears, helping people change habits in their life. I just recently worked with a gentleman in Philadelphia where he was going through a career change, a life change. He got laid off after working someplace for a long time. And he knew he needed to reinvent himself if he was going to be successful in his next steps. So we spent two months working with him two times a week, basically reinventing his career, or reinventing how he thought about his career, giving him the confidence he needed to go out and succeed in a new venture. Do you have a website? It is um, mindpowerconsultingllc.com. Mindpowerconsultingllc. Correct, dot com. I've worked with clients all over the world. All over the world. Uh, a lot of my clients are actually other hypnotists. Interesting. Okay. Uh, because you know we get stuck too, and um, well, we're all human, right. Right. <laughs> and then another side piece to that is I also ventured into a very sort of different type of stage hypnosis, where I don't use a stage. I actually do the work in the audience. So it's sort of the hypnotic equivalent of close-up table magic. 
And that's really interesting, really challenging, because if you come to my show, you're going to have a hypnotic experience. I'm actually in the process right now of getting a show set up as a fundraiser for Vet Trip. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Go out and play with people's heads. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for sharing all this with us. Um, and again, your, ad your website address is mindpowerconsultingllc.com. That's correct. And people anywhere, you can go on the internet to contact you. That's correct. Okay, and does it talk about your shows too? That, that would be a different website. What it's Beyond Stage Hypnosis. Beyond? Stage. Stage. Hypnosis.com. And be, and be part of the show. Be part of the show. That's kind of a requirement. Excellent. Wow, this is great. So uh, before we close, would you like to uh, look at the camera and give a shout out to our troops, our first responders? Uh, yeah, guys, I want you to know that we're all supporting you back here and we're ready to take care of you when you return. And if you're a first responder in this area, don't be afraid to ask for help. Great. Thank you. Thank you for your service and for continuing to serve. Thank you. Appreciate it. Once again, folks, you've been watching on TalkingWithHeroes.com. Uh, check out our new uh, nonprofit, ThankYouForYourService.us. And we've been broadcasting here from San Pedro's Presbyterian Church in San Antonio, Texas, uh, to all of our men and women who are serving, being deployed uh, around the world. Be safe. Stay alert. We look forward to you all coming back soon to our first responders. Uh, be safe. Uh, thank you for your service and all of our veterans, all families that are in a military or first responder family. So God bless you. God bless America.